Is budget lighting or cheap lighting a good idea for your video? Let's have a look, shall we? As a filmmaker, I've used all kinds of lights, go, ranging from the thousands of pounds worth of light to just a little torch, just to get the right effect I want on my subject or in my film. That being said, if you want to light yourself, if it's just something like this, you can do this easily for about £10. Now, I use one of these lights. This is a softbox light, uh, has a light in it, has a diffuser in the front. These you can pick up for around 40 to 50 pounds. That comes with the light, the bulb, the stand, everything you need to plug in and go. But you haven't got 40 to 50 pounds to spend. So we're going to have a look at one of these. This is a halogen DIY lamp. You can get this from any good DIY store or hardware store. What you want to do is, because that light, when it comes out, is very harsh and hard. So you need to diffuse it. That's where this stuff comes in. This is oven proof or grease proof paper. You can get this from the pound store and it's great because, unlike ordinary paper, it won't burn when your light gets hot. So it's very simple what you do. You cut your paper to the size you want. And then, with a couple of clips, put it over the front. This diffuses and brings the light down. Now, if you need less light, you cut another bit and put it on the front. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick comparison between my light I've got here, which is a daylight balanced bulb, which gives you sort of daylight look and everything, and this. Okay, first off, we, I've got it just over there looking at me, and here is the here it is there, that's what it looks like there, at me. And you can see it's very bright, it's giving me very harsh light, it's got a red colour to it because it's not daylight balance, it's a tungsten bulb, and I've got very hard shadows behind me. This is great, now if I move out of the way, for lighting the scene, it looks pretty good. It gives you that sort of almost, um, you know, oldish feel or nighttime feeling almost. But again, it is still pretty bright. Right, so I've got a diffuser on it. You can see straight away the big difference. It's not so red, it's giving me a much better tone. I've still got the hard shadow behind me, but also you can move the light to get rid of that shadow. So it's still it's good now, it looks a lot better. I'm gonna put another diffuser on to see how that looks. Now, with two diffusers on it, or two bits of oven-proof paper, we have a really nice look to it. It's not so harsh. You can see behind the shadow, even though I've got a bit of a shadow behind me, it still looks much better than if it's just incandescent light. Now, I know a lot of people, they will film in a room where they've just got a light bulb hanging down and it gives the wrong sort of light and the wrong projection of light. So the nice thing about this is you can put it where you want it. Um, you can even attach it to a lighting stand or a tripod or even a broom sellotape to your desk. It'll still work, but you can get it where you want it and give you a nice even look to you. So this is what it's like without it in this room. So I've, all I've got is my uh, the, the windows behind the camera. Um, it's not bad actually saying that. This is with again with the um, uh, ten pound light. It was much better lighting, much better tone to me. I know it's a bit of a bit of a red tint to it, but that could be taken out in post. Now we'll have a look at the difference between my professional light. Now there you can see, it's because it's light balance, it's much nicer, it's a nicer tone, but again, it's what you pay for. But for a cheap light, this little one here is actually really good. So I would suggest 
If you've got a spare 10 pounds or 10 dollars, go out and get one, get some grease proof or oven proof paper, put it in front and use it when you're vlogging or speaking in front of the camera or even if you're filming other things, you can use, place it just about anywhere you want, either to give effect or to light the background or something. They are really worth having a couple of these in your filmmaking kit. Well, I hope this was useful. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, put it down in the uh, thing below. And I'll catch you next time on Beyond the Lens.